you know, three years ago I bought some property, not three years ago, um, I, I bought some property in uh, Palolo Valley, and three years ago uh, the Army Corps gave me notice that they want to uh, do eminent domain on my property to build a detention basin. So I, um, I was given a link to the draft EIS, uh, which was a couple thousand pages long, and I studied up on it and I objected to uh, their idea of trying to take my property. But in the course of it, uh, they actually finalized the property and it's become a $345 million project that Congress uh, has already funded and the state is now uh, trying to fund their portion. It's not a matter of how badly Waikiki needs uh, flood protection. Everybody wants it. Um, or even the residents in, in Manoi, if a hundred of them came out and said, we want this, we want the detention basins. But all it takes is one homeowner to, one homeowner to say, I am negatively impacted and they didn't follow the process. So, this structure here is a, a newly built duplex, which will be, um, which is in the original EIS that they plan to demolish. So they're taking away this rental property, which encompasses two families. And as we walk around the corner, you'll see another home that will be demolished as well. So if it backs up and then it fails, it's difficult for the. Army Corps of Engineers to guarantee that not happening.